Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a logo GIF glitching effect in Photoshop that you can then upload to your Squarespace website. So this is more of a Photoshop tutorial than it is a Squarespace tutorial, but what a lot of people don't realise is when they see an animated logo in Squarespace, they think it's some kind of magic. Well it is really, but it's, you know, it's usually being done in Photoshop as a GIF and then uploaded to Squarespace as a logo. So let's take a dive in and we'll um, we'll get cracking. Ah no, actually before we get started, is it a GIF or is it a GIF? Some people call it a GIF, some people call it a GIF. I call it a GIF because it's spelled G-I-F. But let me know, let me know in the comments, let me know if you call it a GIF, spell it G-I-F, and if you call it a GIF, say I pronounce it J-I-F. And hopefully that will solve the problem of how it's pronounced. So we've got a logo that we've got here. It's been saved as a PNG with a transparent background. So I'm just going to drag this into Photoshop. And it'll open up. Now we want a bit of space around the logo because we're going to be moving it around a little bit. So if your logo is right out to the edge of the, the canvas, you might want to just put it onto a bigger canvas to give you a bit more space. But basically... What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to rename this one. So if we just double click on it, I'm just going to rename that one logo. So we can differentiate between layers easier later. And then I'm just going to duplicate this three times. So if we hold option and then just drag these down. And then I'm just going to rename them again so we can differentiate between them again. So we'll just call this one glitch one. and two and then guess what's coming next you guessed it glitch three right okay so this face that let in fact let's just click all these eye icons now apart from glitch one so if we just click glitch one make sure it's got the eye icon and the the layer is selected so this is going to begin the glitch effect on our logo. So what I'm going to do is go to Smudge Tool. It might be the Blair Tool that's selected to start with if you just right click on it and Smudge. And then I'm going to set the size to around 12 and the strength to 50. And then it's literally just a case of dragging across your whole logo. Maybe do it in a couple of different directions, trying to keep it as straight as possible or as wonky as possible as much as you as much as you want the glitch to look let's just uh add a couple of extra little bits in there maybe a couple going that way across the feet okay so that's it we're done with that layer now so if we come back across to the layers panel and we just remove that one for now just click the icon next to that we want to bring glitch two in now and then once again make sure that the layer is selected now this one, all I'm going to do is move it slightly and change the opacity of it. So if we come across to the Move tool and just drag it over slightly. Not too much, we just want it to be like a subtle one, this first one. And then change the opacity to around 50. So if we bring our top logo back in, now our main logo, we'll just have a bit of comparison. Might be over a little bit too much actually, let's just... Uh, Bring it over slightly. I think that's a bit better. Okay, we'll turn logo one and glitch two off for a second. And then we want to highlight glitch three. Make sure three is selected and then bring that in. Now this one, I'm just going to change the size of it and the opacity. Make sure the layer is selected. And we just press command and T. And then while I'm holding shift, I'm just going to drag the outside edges out. Hold and shift keeps it all the same size without skewing it out of shape. So we might just move that up slightly. Hit return to place it, and then we're just going to change the opacity of it. Probably drop this one down to around 40. 39, close enough. Okay, so if we just take that one out a second, bring logo our main logo back in. Make sure it's selected. Now I'm going to go to Window and Timeline so we can start creating our GIF. GIF, whatever they're called, depending on where you are in the world. And then I need to click Create Frame Animation. 
So you see this first frame now, this has been added into the timeline. Um, that is the layer that's selected that will be displayed in this in this frame. So, so this is how we want our logo to start off and then we want it to glitch slightly and then go back to normal. So if we set this one to run for about two seconds before the glitch effect starts, and then we'll go to this icon over here, this hamburger icon, and we want to go to new frame. Now you see that our logo, our normal logo, is still displayed in the second frame. So if we hide that in the layers panel, we want to start the glitch effect off with this one. And then we want to drop the site the time of this because we want it all to be pretty quick. So if we just go to no delay on that. And then we come back across to add a new frame. And then it's just a case of adding more frames to get your glitch effect how you want it looking. So I'm going to leave glitch one in this frame but i'm also going to start bringing other glitches in as well so if we go to two we see it just adds a bit of movement in and then we go to new frame let's take this first glitch out now and we'll leave it a glitch two we'll add a new frame bring glitch three in let's take glitch two out put glitch one back in and a new frame so as i said it's just a case of experimenting with this and getting it looking as you'd like it to look there's no formula to it it's just a trial and error so where are we up to now let's just take let's put glitch two and one in together go with a new frame let's start taking it back now to normal so we can introduce the normal logo back in and then we can, for one last go, we can put glitch one and three in. And then new frame. And we'll take this back to the normal logo. So we'll leave this to run for, say, like 0 0.2 seconds. And then we'll just have one last quick glitch. So change the timing on that. Let's go to final new frame. Change the timing back to no delay. And then we'll just quickly put a, a couple of frames of glitching in. And then back to normal again. So we'll just new frame, logo. And then we want this one to run now for another five seconds before it loops around again. Now you can change the amount of times that it loops around as well. So you can have it forever three times once. I think once would be good on a live website, but just for the sake of this, I'm going to keep it running forever. And then if we just press play. There we go. That's looking pretty decent. Obviously, if I had enough time in the tutorial to show you, then I'd alter it slightly or maybe drag it out a little bit longer. But purely for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just trying to keep it short, so we'll leave it at that. Now I need to save it as a GIF so we can upload it to Squarespace. So if we come across to File, Export, and we want to save for Web Legacy. I'm just going to leave all these settings the same. GIF 128 dithered, save as a GIF. We can still change the amount of times that it's going to loop. At this point but say just leave it running forever and then save i'm just going to save it as logo.gif to the desktop okay so we're finished in photoshop now if we just minimize that for a minute shut this timeline down and then i'm going to go to our squarespace site and then i'm going to go to design logo and title and then i'm just going to drag our gif in And hit save and you see at the top of our site now we should have a fully functioning or making it look like it's not functioning properly sort of logo so i hope you found this video useful if you did leave us a thumbs up below um if you've got any questions leave them in the comments and hopefully i'll see you in the next video see ya